Good evening, everyone. QNS Vlogs. We are back from our day over in Cosmo, Mexico. We're all showered and changed, and we're about to go to a specialty dining restaurant. Which restaurant is that, babe? Uh, Mason Jar. Yep, that's where we're going, and we're bringing you with us, and we're going to taste all the good food, and we're going to let you know, give you our honest opinion of what it tastes like. Definitely don't want to do that. So, join us as we go to the Mason Jar. So ladies, I'm going to the mason jar. Gentlemen, I'm going to the mason jar. This is my outfit for the evening. It's just a, a jumpsuit, a strapless jumpsuit with a throw over it and some shoes and cross shoes and belt. So this is my outfit for the evening. So we are here at the mason jar. Yes, we are. Q and I. And um, we're seated, and we are going to try some of this southern food that we've heard so much about, and then we will let you know what it tastes like, right, baby? Yes, we are. Here's the menu. Here's the menu. So here is the jalapeno cornbread and the biscuit and he says it's honey butter and jalapeno butter so okay so I tried the jalapeno cornbread and it tastes good it's got a nice taste to it it's really not that spicy and it's got a sweetness to it so that's okay and I also tried the um, biscuit uh, I think it's a buttermilk biscuit and it's not bad it's pretty good too that's Q's, what is this babe? The gumbo. The gumbo. It's the lobster and crawfish gumbo that you got. And I'm starting off with the smoky deviled eggs. It has, I think this is um, like a uh, pork brown on the top. So we're gonna taste these and let you know what they taste like. Here are the crab beignets, and it has a crab dip to dip them in. So we're going to get into that. The deviled eggs were really good. Nice taste to it. Not really mayonnaise-y, which I like in um, a deviled egg. And the crispiness of the pork rind on top made it really good. So Q, what did you think of the your gumbo? Gumbo was good. Uh, the crawfish was overcooked to me. And the biscuits was good. I haven't tasted corn bread yet. Overall, I like the gumbo. It's spicy. So, like I said, let me get into these crab beignets and I will let you know exactly what they taste like. So, Q, what did you think of the jalapeno cornbread? It was kind of sweet. Sweet. It got a kick to it because of the jalapenos in mm -hmm. it. But it tastes pretty good to me. It tastes good with the gumbo. Yes. So I'm going to get into these um, beignets. This is right here. They're hot. Ah. Ah. They're hot. They are so hot. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to take some of the dip that came with it. Let's see. Look at that right there. I don't know how I feel about that. What? Man, yeah. What's wrong with it? It's almost like they don't have a taste to it. Try it. I don't like the same back. No. Ooh. What you think? Most beignets ain't got too short anyway. Brown. When y'all get it, y'all put the powder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't care. They like doing. How you all doing? Enjoying so far? She don't like the beignets. Yeah. <laughs> the beignets you don't like it. You want to try some things? Okay. Full transparency. I was not feeling that those uh, those beignets. Um, I love a good beignet. I've been to New Orleans. I've had authentic beignets and I don't know, something was just missing. I know that they said it's a crab beignet, but it's just the crab dip. The beignet had like a dusting of some type of seafood sauce, or seafood seasoning or whatever on it. And I don't know, 
it just didn't taste good to me as a beignet. And that crab dip, which you know I'm from Maryland, so the crab, the crab dip was, I sent it back because I didn't care for it. But it's up to you to come here and try it and you decide if you like it or not. For me, it didn't work for me. So I got the, um, the, uh, the blueberry Johnny cakes. So we're gonna try those and I'll let you know what those taste like. <laughs> okay, so baby, what's in um, the Johnny cakes? What is it? It says it's a savory cornmeal flapjack with barbecue pulled pork and crispy chicken skin with uh, coleslaw. All right, so we're gonna get into these Johnny cakes and we're gonna let you know what they taste like. So baby, you thought that the Johnny Cakes, what, what was your impression? The Johnny that Cakes was good. With the blueberry Johnny Cakes, they was good. With the blueberry mixture of the sweetness of that and the barbecue sauce, that was, a, that was an excellent choice. Right, and that pulled pork on it really set it yeah. off. And I bit into like a nice plump blueberry with the savoriness of the barbecue sauce and the pulled pork right. and the little chicken, uh, what is that, chicken skin on top, the crunchiness, right. that's, that's good. good. Right. Yeah, I really like that. One, yeah, thing, like, one thing I didn't like is the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. The coleslaw was too mayonnaise based. And it didn't have any season, so you're basically just tasting cabbage and mayonnaise. So I didn't like that. Right, and he tried to doctor it up with a little bit of pepper, pepper. but it didn't work. No. And um, I'm not going to taste it because I'm not, I really don't care for like mayonnaise stuff. So I'm not going to, I'm taking Q's word for it on that coleslaw. But the Johnny blueberry Johnny cakes are really good so if you come to the Mason jar you should try those those are really good yes. and um, the devil eggs I don't know if I said this but I really like the devil eggs too because they're not mayonnaise -y. they're kind of like a mustard based devil egg and I like that and I thought that they were really good and that little piece of pork skin or chicken skin whatever it was on top gave you that crunch and I really like that yeah, it did taste okay mm -hmm. yeah so the Johnny cakes are a winner the uh, coleslaw, yeah, coleslaw, not so much. Okay, so our main courses have arrived, everyone. So they are. This is the Mima's chicken Q guy. He got it with a side of French fries and Cajun, Cajun fries and, and, the and the spicy, the spicy. He got it Nashville hot, spicy, right. and he got a side of collard greens, right there. Yes. Okay. And I got the Cajun blackened catfish with a side of succotash, which I love, and mashed sweet potatoes. So we're gonna get into this and let you know what it tastes like. What are your impressions of the Mima's uh, chicken bait? It has no flavor, but the spicy makes the flavor. By, uh, yeah, that Nashville Heights spicy. spicy. But at least you can recognize the piece of chicken, <laughs> like on some other dishes. Don't even know what you get. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so when, when you say you at least you know the pieces of chicken are identifiable. Yes. <laughs> you know that's a wing for sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This man of mine. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, mine. My Cajun catfish, I haven't tasted it yet, but the succotash is good, and you know the mashed sweets, uh, mashed sweet potatoes are mashed sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna try this while I'm talking to y'all right now, see what this bitch tastes like. Okay. The, cat, the catfish has a nice taste to it. The season is good. It's a little bit salty, but overall, it's a nice taste. I like it. I about, like it. What about my collard greens? Oh, the collard greens. I think they can collard greens. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Them, like glory greens in a can or whatever. The ones, you, them big cans you get from Cisco. <laughs> you know, no seasoning. With no seasoning in them. But they try to put some ham in there. So I guess it's seasoned with the ham, but. No, it ain't. It's just the ham with no seasoning. <laughs> and no seasoning at all. Hate them. It's a, it's a, it's Trust me. Okay. All right. Let's go with you. Can collard greens with no snow. Okay. They got Even pieces of ham in them though. Okay. All right. We gonna go. Ham and no snow. Oh goodness. We gonna go with that. <laughs> this is the chocolate pecan 
pie. Chocolate pecan pie. Okay. Cherry pie. So, baby, what you think about the Mason jar? The meal we just ate. Um, it's okay. I guess it's okay. Um, I love the Newberry Johnny cakes. I love that little crisp, like uh, like Johnny cake with that pop of blueberry with that. I have to agree with that. Yeah, with that. Um, I think they could make yes, a meal out of yeah, that. Yeah, they could with the savoriness of the um, pulled pork. It was just that was good. I could like like I'm with you. They could have made that a main dish, and I would. I love that. Um, the smoky deviled eggs. I really like those. I mean, they were nice. They weren't mayonnaise -y. They had a nice mustard base, and they had that little piece of chicken, you know, crispy chicken skin on it. I really like that. What about your um, crawfish and lobster um, gumbo? What do you think about that? I like that. It should have had more sausage in it. Uh, the crawfish was overcooked. Mm -hmm. uh, come to a texture where it actually just disintegrates, so oh, yeah. it's kind of not worth eating at that yeah. point. Okay, what about your Mima's fried chicken? The, the Mima's fried chicken, the spicy one that I got, right. the spice of the season that they put on it, mm -hmm. made the actual chicken taste better. Mm -hmm. Outside of, if I didn't get that, I'm feeling as though I didn't have any taste to it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that added the taste to it. Mm -hmm. But it was meaty, and I can identify the pieces of chicken, of course. <laughs> so I enjoyed that portion right. of it. And what about the collard greens that came the Collard greens, they see plain Like we said, the canned collard, can, can collard greens, glory greens, if you know what glory greens are. With some ham that's not seasoning. Okay. And it didn't have any seasoning at all. So, mm -hmm. and I put pepper in it. I think that I did get the Cajun fries, so that kind of added to the taste when I ate the collard mm -hmm. greens. So I had to see for season wise. Right. So I wouldn't get it again. Though. Okay. Um, my Cajun blackened catfish. It was it was okay. Right. Um, at that point, I was really full off of the appetizers, but that succotash was good. I love me some succotash, and I really like the succotash. I thought it was nicely seasoned and stuff. And um, of course, I'm a sucker for some mashed potatoes, and these were mashed sweet potatoes, so I was good with that. The um, Cajun catfish had a nice seasoning on it. It was nice. Um, the fillets were um, cooked well. They weren't dried out. They were nice and flavorful. It's just that I just ate. I ate, you know, as they say, uh, my eyes were bigger than my stomach. I ate a lot of the, we ate too. the appetizer. We didn't eat right. And I'm, I'm not going to, because I overeat. paid for it, I'm not going to overeat. It was just too much. So, um, Q, I'm going to ask you overall, um, would you. Would you recommend the mason jar, or would you pass? I would pass? definitely have, have someone try uh, on their own. Uh, try some of the meals that we had. Please comment, let us know how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I did enjoy some things, like I said, but I would tell you enjoy it. Try it yourself. See what you like out of it. Is it worth the extra money? I guess that's what they want to know. Um, see, I'm on the fence about that. I think that as a specialty restaurant and it's a new restaurant here and it's only on one to disease i would say um give it a try but um with that um if you are into southern food you may question some of the items Being on the menu right you know because i mean we're from maryland and we're right on the cusp of southernness my and, family um, is from south south yeah and mine's too so it, I mean, you know what it's supposed to taste right, like. Right, but I would say give it a try because this is these are just our opinions of, of you know, how we felt that the food was. But, if you know, I would encourage you to try it yourself. And like we said, drop a comment below and let us know. But we will say one thing. Um, they have nightly entertainment here. And I would just say that they... So I, was, I would say that with the... Um, the music, I mean, I've only heard country, and if you're talking about southern food, we know that there are different genres of southern music. We have blues, we have zydeco, we have a whole plethora of different types of southern music. That they need to be more diverse in, you know, in the um, the music choices choices here in the restaurant because you have a diverse uh, audience that's coming here to eat. 
and you need to cater to all of them. And I don't think that they're doing that because we've been sitting here all this time and even in all of the other interviews that, you know, that we've seen. So we're wrapping up here um, at the Mason Jar and we're giving you our honest opinions. And um, drop a comment below if you've eaten here at the Mason Jar and if you I mean, if, if you've had those same, you know, concerns or whatever, feelings, you know, as far as the music, at, the musical atmosphere here, which, as Q and I said, could be a little bit more diverse, given the clientele that you have that's coming here um, at the Mason Jar. So, we are out. We've got our desserts to go. We're going to drop a couple of pictures of those, and we'll see you on our next vlog aboard the Wonder of the Seas. So for Q&S Vlogs, and if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment so we can keep bringing you this content, this honest review of food and everything else that we do. So we're out for the evening. Talk to you later.